welcome everyone to a brand new video a brand new vlog thank you so much for visiting my world and you know once again you know all these videos that i make are for you to help yourself understand what's happening in this world uh, you might have heard in corporate media that there is a former president quote-unquote president or that she has been jailed in Bolivia some people are calling it a political revenge well I'm here to clarify that what exactly is going on in Bolivia right so we have here uh, Luis Fernando Camacho and we also have Carlos Mesa in the middle in the middle of the pictures and we have Janine Agnes on the right hand so what's happening in Bolivia well back we have to go back a little bit well not that far back but uh, to, to 2019 to understand what's happening in Bolivia um, back in 2019 in Bolivia uh, Mr. Evo Morales, former president of Bolivia, wanted to, to re-elect himself. Well, not himself, but he wanted, to re he wanted to be part of the candidacy for the first time. In Bolivia, you're allowed three times to, to run for president, three times. He had won all three times. Hmm? But some people say four times, but that's because former president Jorge Quiroga in the middle of his mandate he said I don't want to be president anymore everyone is complaining about the way I'm doing things and one of those people who was criticizing his presidency was Evo Morales so uh, Quiroga decided to to quit and told Mr. Evo Morales but uh, see if you can do better and that's when Mr. Morales actually did better and people saw that he was being pro pro Bolivia and he uh, things are starting to improve but you know obviously it takes years for a country that, ha country that has been exploited their minerals has been exploited for decades and decades uh, will not uprise in four years hmm? especially not in half of a mandate so so he was he was reelected a few times, right? And then we end up in 2019 when he can he's trying to reelect himself for a fourth time because he knows that he needs uh, another mandate because he had brought people. Well, Bolivia is a country with I'm going to say 95, 98 percent of uh, people in Bolivia are indigenous. Um, just saying that number because I'm going I should say the majority I shouldn't say a percentage because I'm not entirely sure if that percentage is actually right but the majority of the people in Bolivia are Aboriginals and the majority of the people in Bolivia were did not have education because education was actually privatized a lot of the people in Bolivia did not have good health because health was privatized mm -hmm. so but he was able to to bring everyone that was at the bottom right at the bottom under the line of poverty here's the line of poverty and people were like down here uh -huh. so he brought them above poverty line and some some people actually came to middle class the people were living pretty good. It's, uh, some um, organizations were being formed, organizations pro Bolivia, and uh, Mr. Evo Morales was actually uh, caught the eye of 
international people saying, wow, an indigenous person governing an indigenous nation and things are going well. Most people think that Aboriginal people cannot govern themselves and they need someone uh, from Europe or whatever, you know, to to govern them. Hmm? Where I was looking for lithium. Bolivia has, it's the nation with the most lithium in this planet. We, we know that the new batteries are being built of with lithium for the new smart cars, uh, electric cars. So that was part of the reason why the coup happened. That's the main reason the coup happened. And unfortunately, the OAS had to be part of that. The OAS, it's a um, an organization of American states. Mm -hmm. So we have Chile, we have Mexico, Argentina, Bolivia is part of it. So that's why um, they could interfere because they said, well, we're... we're you're part of the OAS. Uh, let, let us try. Let us try to help you. But then, at the end, that actually went against Bolivia. Hmm? Uh, uh, Miss Agnes ended up being self-proclaimed herself interim president. But then. She, she never took the right steps, any of the steps that were supposed to be taken. She actually became a dictator. Hmm? And people, and she wasn't able to, uh, to govern the people. All she was trying to do, and they stole the gold from Bolivia. They, they began trying to create, uh, they actually did sign some papers, some deals with um, international organizations to actually mine the lithium in Bolivia. Hmm? So a, a, a lot of that. And now that she's, she has been jailed, and I believe about five or six other people that were, that were part of the coup, now the OAS is trying to defend her. Yeah, actually, I even heard of the Human Rights Commissions um, are, are trying to defend her. Where was the human rights when people were being shot at? When people lost um, their, um, their right to, to see a doctor? Those rights were taken back. So Bolivia actually, instead of moving forward, went back a, a few years, I'm, I'm going to say decades. So in, in an official document on March 15th, the American state organization shared the intention to create an international commission to reform Bolivia's justice. The OAS is not doing what they're supposed to be doing. They cannot intervene in that way. The OAS claims necessary to stop the alleged corruption started by the former government, um, President Morales. I mean, they had, Ms. Agnes was, let's call it president of Bolivia for 11 months. In those, in those 11 months, they never found a way to prove Hmm? that there was fraud. But as you can see right now, Bogota, Colombia, researchers, Massachusetts, they say that there's no way, there was no fraud. There is not proof of it. There is more proof that there wasn't than that there is. Because they can't find any proof that there was. So, 
So the organization as the dust being processed by the judicial courts of Bolivia caused people to be released. And, and of course, all opponents of uh, Luis Arce Catacora are saying, yes, yes, we agree with you. Oh, yes, we agree with you. Of course they're going to, right? The charges against her are, are, pretty, uh, are straightforward. Treason, sedition, and terrorism. Many people want her to be charged with the death of the 37 Bolivians. P people are, uh, she has not been, she has not been charged with uh, the death of those people. But it's very obvious that uh, she terrorized the nation using the army and the police. Uh, sedation, she took part of the coup. She went uh, against the Bolivian constitution. Now has to answer for the charges specified in the constitution. The institutions that never spoke up during the, apparent, uh, during the coup now are defending all those involved who were involved as Colombia, the, the nation that blocked the entrance uh, to the um, to to Bolivia. Hmm? So in a in a large scale, definitely in a large scale, a a well designed plan against Mr. Morales. Hmm? They really wanted that lithium. Jeff Bezos, he actually said that. Huh? That's the dude from Tessa. Uh, you find that interview. Find that interview. You will see that he actually said, we will create as many coups uh, uh, as we want to get what we want. Mm. So organizations that claim to defend human rights, democracy, and everything else that they say that they fed their job Tuto Quiroga, Carlos Mesa, Agnes, everybody that participated in the coup could, should be in jail and no one should be protesting. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, that's not, that's not the case. These, are, these organizations work for corporations and the millions that they... Mm -hmm. So my friends, this is all the information that I have for you now. If you leave any questions in the comments, I will take time to answer them. So until next video, ciao ciao for now. Let's take care of each other.